My name is David Johnson and I came to Nassau to take you on a walkthrough through a very special yacht named Hiatus. She's a 98 MCP Europa commissioned in 2008. She has five spacious staterooms and sleeps 10 guests. Every summer, yachts from all over the world shuffle away from their home ports in pursuit of the most ultimate locales on Earth. Today, I'm in one of those locations, Nassau, Bahamas. A yachting staple sitting atop a list of dream getaways, the Bahamas offers some of the most gorgeous scenes in the world. We have a lot to cover, so let's jump right into what I personally love the most about this yacht. The first, she's a tri-deck. This is really uncommon in this size range. And like anything good, once you experience this amount of volume, there's almost no going back. Number two, she has a full beam salon. But that's just the start of it. With an open concept layout, the salon, galley, and formal dining flow seamlessly together. Number three, and finally, she has an awesome beach club. Because the entire transom folds down, it provides far more space than a swim platform, and it makes for a more interactive experience with the water. Seeing as this 98 MCP's most outstanding feature is her tri-deck configuration, it only makes sense that this is where we start today's walkthrough. Aft is her boat deck, with a tender and a 2,000 pound davit. This is just the start of the activities made possible by a plethora of water toys. This davit also raises and lowers her twin jet skis found one deck below. Forward into port is a bar and grilling area. Consider this your open air galley. Because of this boat's volume, there will be times when there are lots of mouths to feed. This also means the grill master doesn't have to miss out on the party. Complementing, this is a center line alfresco dining area. Where this would normally be offset to one side or the other, its placement makes it far easier for guests to get in and out from behind the table and keeps the attention where it should be, your circle of friends and the feast of the day. When the time is right, open up her electric sunroof and let the sun join the party. With a full JL audio sound system and a ton of standing room, this upper deck is the place to be year round. Forward is the upper helm. On a typical 98 foot yacht, this would be paired down with a navigation array that will be described as adequate. This helm can only be described as robust. This overachieving helm features a CAT engine monitor, Furuno RD33 repeater, an ACT searchlight control, and a 15 inch Furuno repeater on the port side. Centerline, in addition to the wheel, is a Simrad Autopilot, bow and stern thruster control, Ritchie compass, main engine controls, and a rudder angle indicator. Wrapping up the helm to starboard is a 15-inch Furuno monitor, Maritron ship's system repeater, and a Furuno control panel. All in all, few 98s can compete with this high caliber of instrumentation. Now, let's jump down a level and start aft. The bridge deck is based around this six-person jacuzzi. The best part about this jacuzzi is that it's still in the sun, but doesn't take up valuable real estate on the sun deck. Flanking the hot tub are the 10-foot sea dew sparks we touched on earlier. This boat spends a lot of time in the Bahamas, and this is one of the best ways to experience the islands. Forward is the second open-air dining area on board, with seating around a 50-inch hardwood table. There's also a bar area forward that doubles as a buffet for a slow Sunday brunch. Opposing this is a beer tap mounted into the wall that connects to a kegerator. Aiding with accessibility are walk-around side decks that connect at her Portuguese bridge. Now, let's step into the Sky Lounge, which has two great configurations. The first, as you see it, makes this room the perfect getaway. It's quiet and a little secluded. It has a great entertainment package that includes a 60-inch TV. Magnifying the calming effect is a wine cooler and a day head. The second configuration opens the space wide up by dropping the aft window and keeping the pocket door open. You typically see this in a lower salon, but I love the fact that it's up here. Between the jacuzzi, beer tap, and a wide open sky lounge, you have one of the most versatile setups on the water. Sticking to starboard and heading forward lands us in the wheelhouse. If you are a fan of the upper helm, you're going to appreciate this helm even more. Let's break down its main features. Starting on the port side, the captain sees a NIAID stabilizer control unit with an ICOM M506 VHF below. 
and a Furuno deepwater sonar. Below this is a rudder angle indicator. Center line are three 19-inch Furuno monitors. These display all the outputs from our NobleTech and Garmin navigation software. Further starboard is a 13-inch Maritron monitor for controlling the onboard monitoring system. Outboard is a wind indicator and an AIS monitor that allows you to identify the other ships around you. Now, along the bottom are Westmore bow and stern thrusters, CAT emergency backup controls, as well as your CAT main engine controls. Center line are a pair of engine monitors that we installed new in 2015. Outboard are Garmin and Furuno display controls. Below is the ship's wheel and her Simrad AP70 autopilot. The wheelhouse also features a bench seat as well as access to the captain's quarters with a Garmin GPS repeater. Now, let's step outside and walk up to the foredeck. As I pointed out earlier, Hiatus has a Portuguese bridge. This conjoins with a centerline companionway that takes us forward. We first arrive at a pair of sun pads and between these is the ship's bell. Forward is her heavy duty ground tackle. She has a pair of Maxwell 4500 pound anchor windlass. Her plow anchors are connected to 300 feet of chain on one side and 200 feet on the other. Everything about this foredeck is user friendly and the crew is really going to appreciate this fact. Let's jump down yet another deck and start making our way forward from the aft deck. This is, once again, MCP making an incredible effort to creatively maximize every space on board. This is apparent with the huge sun pad aft of the dinette, accommodating at least four. From here, you have a great view of the beach club below, but we'll come back to that. There's a large alfresco dining area under the hardtop that serves as your third and primary alfresco dining area. Outboard are a pair of boarding doors. On the starboard side is your third helm. An aft control station like this gets used all the time. Leaving the aft deck, we step into the main salon that was refit in 2016. This area is awesome. Like I said at the top of today's walkthrough, the salon has an open air concept layout. Mirroring the great room era we are seeing in homes, this wide open configuration makes for the perfect entertaining venue. There's plenty of seating between a pair of sofas and a great entertainment package between a 55 inch LG TV and a Bose sound system. Outboard to port is a unique storage area. Not only does it serve as a great place to prep and store drinks, but there's also a ton of cabinet storage for stemware and servingware. Aft and to starboard is a pocket door that leads to the beach club and engine room that is used primarily by the crew. Another great byproduct of this layout is how she maximizes her huge windows. Not only are they tinted with V-Cool, which is a high-end UV blocking material, but they also give everyone a panoramic view of their surroundings. Also, this is where we start to see the amazing use of teak throughout the interior sole. Next, we're going to take a look at the galley. This professional grade galley is perfect for this yacht. First, it serves as a bar top. For appliances, Hiatus has everything you need. Twin stainless steel sink basins, a Bosch dishwasher, and a four burner glass cooktop with hood above it. Facing in now, we see a Thermador side-by-side -side fridge freezer, Thermador oven, and a microwave. Forward is pantry storage. Opposite the galley is your formal dining. Let's stick to starboard and head forward, where we first pass the guest accommodation stairs and arrive at a dayhead. Our next stop is the on-deck master. Center line is a forward-facing king berth flanked by nightstands. The owners keep themselves entertained by a 43-inch 3D TV that's tied into a Sono system with Bose speakers. Outboard of the TV are a pair of en-suites. Each has marble floors, spacious vanities and shower stalls. The starboard ensuite also has an additional closet. The coolest part of the master? A secret door to a large hidden walk-in closet. From here, let's head downstairs and check out the guest accommodations. 
Aft are a pair of virtually identical queen staterooms. They both have more than a fair amount of storage and access to private ensuites. Heading forward brings us to the port twin stateroom with an ensuite. There's also a Pullman berth in here. The stateroom on the opposite side to starboard has the same layout but demonstrates how the twin berths can convert into a king berth. This stateroom also has a Pullman berth. Forward of the guest staterooms is the crew area that's currently occupied by the three crew members staying on board. In total, there are sleeping accommodations for five crew on hiatus. Let's jump back outside and onto the stern and begin our grand finale. The secret to this shipyard's crown jewel is Hiatus's beach club. This is revealed by lowering the transom door. This is undoubtedly the place to be. Whether you're hanging your feet in the water, stepping onto a jet ski, or watching the sunset, this is the perfect platform for making the most of the day. This beach club is a place for everyone to enjoy. Here you see a ton of water toys as well as space to store them. There are also shore power connections to starboard with a passer rail above. To port is a swim ladder. Stepping inside is what we are going to call the second galley. Fully equipped with a surprising amount of counter space, this galley can prepare everything from light snacks to a complete meal. The icing on the cake? This area is air conditioned and spars remarkably with the summer sun. Hidden below the bar is a dive compressor for filling dive tanks with hookups to starboard. On the starboard side is a ton of storage, which is at the moment being fully maximized. Now let's follow the ship's engineer into the engine room. Hiatus is propelled by a pair of CAT C32 Acerts. Powering the house are two 52 kW Onan generators. With a combined 3,300 horsepower, these CAT engines give her a cruise speed of 12 knots and a top speed of 20 knots. If you think all of this horsepower makes her inefficient, you may be pleased to find out that this isn't the case. In terms of efficiency, she burns a combined 50 gallons per hour at 12 knots. I'd like to extend a huge thank you to the captain and crew of Hiatus. We don't thank you all enough for making video shoots like ours possible, so thank you. If you want any more information on hiatus, feel free to leave a comment below or contact me at any time. My name is David Johnson from Denison Yachting, and I'll see you next time.